and welcome to our service for this Sunday the 11th of October. We begin with Psalm 106. Praise the Lord, O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who can utter the mighty doings of the Lord, or declare all his praise? Happy are those who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, when you show favour to your people. Help me when you deliver them, that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory in your heritage. Today we are challenged to look for things that are good and beautiful and worthy of praise. So, think of something that you find really beautiful and say, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say, rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, 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 and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. I invite you to join with us now as Jackie leads us in prayer. Lord God, we never know what the future holds or where life will take us next. We never know what is just around the corner or what the outcomes of things will be. But we know that whatever follows on from this moment, you are here with us, by our side, above and beneath us, entwining your life with ours, surpassing all human understanding. So often we give up if something goes wrong or doesn't go our way. So often we are overwhelmed by our own problems that we forget to look out for others. So often we are consumed with negatives and endings that we lose sight of the positives and the beginnings. Eternal God, forgive us for our self-centeredness, our blindness and our deafness, and reawaken your spirit within us. Remind us to look for the things we can celebrate and rejoice in, even in the difficult times. Our Father in heaven, reveal who you are, set the world alight, do what's best, as above, so below. Keep us alive with three square meals, keep us forgiven with, with you and, and forgiving others. You're in charge, you can do anything you want. You're a blazing beauty, yes, yes, yes! I don't know about you, but we love the book, Where's Wally? We love searching for him in whatever scene he's in on that particular day, in amongst all the different people. I look a little bit like him, I look a little bit different. Sometimes we think we found him, but actually it wasn't him. He's hidden so well. Well, today we are being asked to look for good things that we can praise God for, even when times are difficult. And that can be quite hard. A bit like when Wally's hiding really well in the picture. Sometimes it's really difficult to recognise good things that are going on. It could be something really small. 
It could be just something that's made you smile when you've been feeling sad. It could be a kind word from a friend that's picked you up when you're feeling down. What makes you feel better what if you're feeling you sad? When you're feeling down. Whatever it is, if you can pick out the good things that are there, even when we're feeling sad or times are difficult, then remember to say thank you to God and praise him. Because those blessings are always around. We can always do something to put a little smile on our face, even when we're feeling sad. We sing together now, praise him on the trumpet. Praise him on the trumpet and the sultry and harp. Praise him on the timbrel and the dance. Praise him with stringed instruments too. Praise him on the loud cymbals. Praise him on the loud cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord Ooh, yeah. Praise Him on the trumpet and the sultry and harp Praise Him on the timbrel and the dance Praise Him with stringed instruments too Praise Him on the loud cymbals Praise Him on the loud cymbals Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord Hallelujah, praise the Lord Hallelujah, praise the Lord Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord Yeah Hallelujah, praise the Lord Hallelujah, praise the Lord Let everything that has breath Praise the Lord Today's Bible readings are brought to us from Larry Pierce and Doreen John and Judy Harris will be giving us our message. Isaiah 25 verses 1 to 9 Contemporary English Version A prayer of thanks to God You Lord are my God I will praise you for doing the wonderful things you had planned and promised since ancient times you have destroyed the fortress of our enemies, leaving their city in ruins. Nothing in that foreign city will ever be rebuilt. How strong and cruel nations will fear and honour you. You have been a place of safety for the poor and needy in times of trouble. Brutal enemies pounded us like a heavy rain or the heat of the sun at noon but you were our shelter. Those wild foreigners struck like scorching desert heat, but you were like a cloud protecting us from the sun. You kept our en enemies from singing songs of victory. The Lord has saved us. On this mountain, the Lord all-powerful will prepare for all nations a feast of the finest foods choice wines and the best meats will be served. Here the Lord will strip away the brutal clothes that cover this nation. The Lord all-powerful will destroy the power of death and wipe away all fears. 
No longer will his people be insulted everywhere. The Lord has spoken. At that time people will say, The Lord has saved us. Let us celebrate. We waited and hoped. Now our God is here. The reading is taken from Philippians chapter 4, verses 1 to 9. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. I, I urge you, Edia, and I urge Sintich to be of the same mind in the Lord. Yes, and I ask you also, my loyal companion, help these women. They have struggled beside me with the, with the work of the gospel together with Clement and the rest of my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything and everything by, by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. Amen. We may ask, how can we rejoice in the Lord always? Life is not always easy. It's not always a bed of roses and we often face hardships and struggles. The COVID-19 crisis has been a real challenge for many people and rejoicing has been the last thing on people's minds. Paul encourages us to make a conscious decision to rejoice. Rejoice about what, you may ask? What is it that makes us want to rejoice? Is it being able to go to the shops, see family, go on holiday, and yes, even having your hair cut? This current crisis has challenged us all. It's made us think about what is important in life. Nobody ever said that it would be easy. There's always been hard and dark times, no matter how deep our faith. Paul suggests in his letter to the Philippians that it's okay to be afraid of dark and difficult times. Acknowledge the darkness. Just don't let it rule you. What darknesses do we face? And where is the light that we can look to? When we're in a tough place, we don't really feel like praising God. But praising when we don't feel like it can be immensely rewarding. Paul tells the Philippians to rejoice even as they face uncertainty. And in this week's Isaiah reading, it's one long poem of praise from a time when it would not have been easy for God's people. Paul Peaks speaks of a sacrifice of praise in Hebrews. To praise God in difficult and uncertain times requires personal sacrifice. And when we bring to God a sacrifice of praise, we choose to believe that even though life is not going as we think it should, God is good and he can be trusted. What effect might doing this have on our relationship with God and our faith in general? The Philippians are about to find themselves alone. Paul and his co-workers have supported them throughout their early days and he has every faith that they will manage once released into the wild. He talks, tells them that even though he will not be there, God will be. I heard the other day a conversation on the radio about a parent who was hating their children leaving to go to university. But I was reminded that we have to let them go to allow them to come back again. 
For anyone moving towards independence for the first time, it's a scary business. And just as a concerned parent, God dares to let us go. Along with much encouragement and wise words of advice. What sort of advice might we give to a young church or a baby Christian today? Would it differ much from what Paul had to say? The Philippians were facing a time of uncertainty. The future might have looked bleak to them. Paul encourages them to rejoice rather than worry. It's a question of attitude, positive mental attitude. Glass half full, glass half empty. Paul wants us to look for the good in everyone and everything and to fill our minds with all that is right and beautiful and just. How does this contrast with the television news and social media today? Sometimes it seems as if the press, the TV, the social media look for the opposite, what is bad and false and dishonourable and not praiseworthy. Let us take time to look for the good and rejoice in the world around us, acknowledging the difficulties, but seeing the possibilities that emerge from those difficulties. Paul says, rejoice for all that God gives us and especially that God is with us, always with us. And then he says it again, rejoice. So let's spend a few moments doing what Paul suggests. What have you seen that is worthy of praise and rejoicing? Amen. Please join with us now as we sing Here I Am to Worship.
And now Peter Swindale will lead us in a time of prayer. O oh God, we come to pray not for ourselves, but for each other. For those we know and those we don't. For situations we understand and for those that confound us. The news tells us of trauma and heartache across the world. And we try to grasp the intensity of it all. Bless, O Lord, all involved in the hurting and the healing. We hear of death and dying, of grieving and weeping. We hear of pain, scarring and disfigurement. We hear of anguish and confusion. We hear of those in need of help and those who struggle to find it. We hear of the grieving and the sorrowful. We hear of the lost and the alone. And we know, Lord, there are many others known only to you. Bless them all in their hurting and their healing. We travel the journey of life, but do not go alone, for the Lord is with us. We travel the journey of life with thankful hearts, and the Lord is with us. We travel the journey of life with each other and with the Lord, who is always with us. Amen. And as our Saviour taught his disciples, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now please join us in our final hymn, In Christ Alone. <laughs> Of love and righteousness, scorned by the one. 
separate ways, Lord, perhaps with smiles or frowns, with our hopes and with our fears, with answers, but also with questions. Maybe crying and with heavy hearts, or with anxieties or relief. We go our separate ways, Lord, but we never go alone. With a thankful heart, we share the journey of life with each other and with you. Be with us as we go. Amen. <laughs> 